Hello everyone, this is Flammy, and welcome back. So we're here today to talk about another important topic, gems. I've already produced one gems video, but that was focusing on high level players and how they typically spend their money and spend their gems to stay ahead. Now we're going to be talking about gems from the perspective of lower levels, and in general just pretty much everyone who's not going to be spending lots and lots of money in game. So we're going to be talking about how you get gems, what you can spend them on, the Clash of Clans weekly massive tournament, and how you can use gems most effectively. So stick around to the end if you want to see some uh, cool math about how to use them most effectively. Okay, to start off, how to get gems. Well, the way everyone knows about is you can buy gems. So any of these uh, different amounts will buy, will get you that many gems for that amount of your whatever your local currency is. So as you can see, they go from about $5 up to $100 in the case of United States dollars. And then there's a couple other ways to get them. So the first uh, way that a lot of people get them, but they don't even realize it, is at the beginning, the tutorial will give you about 500 uh, gems to start with. It will also try to encourage you to spend some of them, so you can speed up constructions of cannons or barracks or units, or to buy resources to start them, but you don't actually have to. Secondly, I guess this is thirdly, there's also achievements. So all achievements give a few gems between one and 450. The largest one, Sweet Victory, gives you 450 gems. There it is right there. I've already got it unlocked, but level 3 of uh, Sweet Victory gives you 450. That's for getting to 1250 trophies, which is a big motivation for a lot of players to raise your trophy count. Now, another way you can get them is through natural decorations. So all natural decorations can be removed for either gold or elixir, and they take various amounts of time, but they all can have the random possibility of giving between 0 and 3 gems doesn't matter how much they cost, they all have the same probability and the same reward, and it's just random. So maybe one of these will give them. Maybe both, and maybe neither. Beyond that, those are all the ways to get gems in-game. So there's a couple different things you can spend them on. The first, and probably most important for everyone who won't be spending tons of money, is on builders. So the great thing about builders is they stay around forever, and you can repeatedly use them to, to uh, have more constructions going on at once. So as you can see here, this will be my fifth builder, as I already own four. And this fifth builder costs 2,000 gems. The third builder, which most of you are trying to probably work for right now, costs 500 gems. And the fourth one costs 1,000. So it doubles each time. 500, 1,000, 2,000. Looks like neither of those natural decorations gave anything, but we can keep trying. The great thing about natural decorations is they keep respawning slowly, so you can keep chopping them down for the only infinite source of gems in-game. Now, there's several other things you can use gems for. Next one I'm going to talk about is speeding up different constructions and researches. So if I want to speed up this 6 day, 13 hour research, it's going to take 946 gems. Or, if I want to speed up this 3 day, 23 hour one, it's going to take 625. Or you can even use it for speeding up littler things. Oop, there's a 3 gems from the tree. Sweet. You can even use it for speeding up littler things. So in this barracks, we've got a 10-minute research going, or a 10-minute construction going on. We can speed this up for three gems. It's grayed out right now because I don't have room in my army camp for this healer, so I can't actually speed it up. But if I did, that would be green and I could click on it. Now, there's a couple other things you can spend them on. Recently, Supercell added the option to boost. So you can boost uh, your gold mines and your elixir collectors and your barracks to make them all operate faster. So the gold mines... I can boost this, ooh, another one. I can boost this one for 6 hours for 20 gems. This is a level 11. If I'm boosting a lower level one, so this is level 10, uh, it's going to only cost 19 gems versus the 20 you saw before. You can also boost the barracks, like I mentioned. This one will be for 25 gems, a 45 minute boost, which speeds its researching, well, not research, its construction of units up by 4 times. So, uh, what would take, if it takes 4 minutes before, now it only takes 1 minute. Or maybe it takes, if it took five minutes, it takes one minute, because that would be four times faster. Yeah, probably the second one. I have never actually used the feature. You can tell if something boosted uh, in either your base or an enemy's base or some base you're visiting by there's a green circle around the building, around the base, sort of near where those move arrows are currently for this gold mine. Okay, now I'm going to move on to uh, the weekly Masters tournament. In my previous video on how high-level players... Uh, get and spend gems. Uh, a lot of it, there's a lot, there's a bit of confusion in the comments. Not a lot. A couple of you were very confused, and uh, it's a very good point. So I'm going to 
solve some of that confusion if I can. So as you can see here, this is the weekly Clash of Clans Masters Tournament. This is rewarded to the gem, rewarding gems to the top three clans every week. So this one, particular one ends in 20 hours, 38 minutes. So as you can see on this right side, the top clan at the end of that timer will get a full uh, 10,000 gems. Second place will get 5,000 and third place will get 3,000. Now, you might think this is great, free gems, right? Let's try to get into one of these clans, how about? Well, not quite, but almost. So, there is this fine text at the top that says, Divided equally among the top ten players of the clan. Ooh, thanks for the troops. So what that means is, if you win, you only get one-tenth of this, and only if you're in the top ten spots. Rank, uh, what is it, like 11 through 50? Yeah, rank 11 through 50, they get nothing. Sorry. Okay, so let's look here. For example, at Bombay, Canada. So these top ten players, all of them will share if they get if they finish with rank one. Each of them will get ten thousand, or uh, ten thousand one thousand, because ten thousand divided by ten. Now, interestingly, you can see here spot ten and spot eleven are both equal and tied currently. So I wonder how that's going to work out. But for example, let's go to spot thirteen and visit their base. So. The argument that a lot of people made was, if you're in the top clan, you just keep getting gems, and you can just save them up and then spend them on new stuff. Well, look at this. This guy, he's level, he's ranked 12 currently, so he's not getting any gems this week, and he probably hasn't in the week past. Maybe some weeks he did, but obviously he doesn't get them every week. Um, but did he spend gems in the last update? Well, Expo level 3, Expo level 3, obviously the Barbarian King 21, and Archer Queen 12. All these were uh, upgraded with gems immediately after the update. We're about uh, 30 hours after the update right now. Uh, no, we're probably about 48 hours after the update right now. But uh, as you can tell, this guy clearly spent uh, a lot of gems. One of the a couple of people in the comments were saying, "Well, clearly he just uh, he had been in the weekly masters tournament and uh, been saving up his gems." Well, first off, those things cost a lot more than a weekly master tournament will give you. And here's another explanation. Not only is that weekly master tournament worth, uh, if you get first place and if you're in the top 10, 1,000. How much is 1,000? That's just under $10 worth of gems. You can see it right here, bag of gems in the middle. Uh, 1,000 for each player. Is that, uh, that going to go very far? Well, let's think about it. So that crossbow, for example, that costs uh, 8 million to get from level 2 to level 3. I believe it's 8 million. Uh, yeah, pretty sure about that. For example, how much would that cost for me right now? So this one's going to cost four million. How much would that cost to buy? <laughs> Over a thousand gems right there, just to get the um, the missing uh, three million in my case. So they probably spent a lot more than that to get two crossbows to level three, uh, one uh, two crossbows to level two, and one crossbow to level one. Uh, not to mention all of the dark elixir, uh, building the storages, building the drills if they have drills, building the barbarian king and queen, buying the elixir, etc., etc., etc. The point is, these guys are spending a lot more than anything they're ever getting. Now, this is very clever marketing by Supercell. I'm just going to say, like, props to them. When a new player comes in, it's like, oh, what are these gem things? Oh, ooh, I want a worker. Oh, I want another worker. Oh, I don't have enough. You see that? Ooh, I don't have enough. Uh, I don't really want to spend money, though. So they say, ooh, well, I come over here. Ooh, free gems. Ooh, I want that. And then they try to go get them. Uh, very good marketing. New players don't quite realize how hard it is to get up there, especially because at the beginning, it's like to get a, get a couple hundred uh, trophies at the beginning. Not very hard. To get the last couple hundred, to get up past 3,000, ooh, that's very hard. Okay, so... That's going to wrap it up for uh, this part. I'm going to hop over and do some math on my computer, so I'll see you guys then. Hey everyone, welcome back to part two. So here we are with a bit more math behind gems. This part of the video is going to be focused on people who have uh, been uh, decided they're going to spend a little more gems. So if you guys are the sort of person who's like, oh, I'm just going to spend 20 gems and uh, get a couple of workers and that's it, I'm done. This part isn't going to be as relevant for you, but it's still pretty interesting. This sort of this part is going to be really important for people who say, uh, "I'm going to spend fifty dollars or more," and that means you're going to be spending gems on resources, uh, boosting your resources or barracks, or speeding up constructions or upgrades. That sort of stuff right here is going to be really helpful. Okay, then. So this here is just a site on the wiki which lets you calculate how much your gems will do for different things. So clashclanswiki.com/wiki/gems. I will link this in the description. So don't worry about typing that out unless. Uh, 
you really want to or something. Anyways, we've got a couple different calculators here. So first, buying gold or elixir with gems. Costs the same for either way. So say we want to buy a thousand gold. How much will that cost us? It only costs us five gems. As you can see, that's right here on the left as well. Basically, we'll get here in a minute, but I just copied these numbers down from here because I know that this calculator is accurate. Okay then, uh, Dark Elixir, say I want to buy the same 1,000. How much will that cost? Ooh, a whole lot more. Dark Elixir is a lot more expensive, as you can see. Well, if we want to buy time, so this is either uh, speeding up researches, buying units uh, that are, re are constructing in the barracks, or speeding up constructions, this is uh, useful right here. So say we want to do a, a healer, a 20-minute healer. How much will that cost? Seven gems. We saw that, right? Pretty good stuff. Well, actually, it was down to like 12 minutes or something. Yeah, four. I think it was three. Probably a bit less. Anyways, you can also do things. So I've got how many gems? How much time will that get me? So I've got 143 gems in game right now. That will get me 12 hours, 52 minutes, and 59 seconds. Very useful stuff. And also I can say, say I want to, say I need 4 million gold for that town hall upgrade. Okay, that's 1,400 gems. If I want to buy these 1,400 gems, how much will that cost me in U.S. dollars? Well, that will cost me $14. That will cost me a $10 pack and a $4 and a $5 pack to buy this 1,400, which makes sense because I, if you remember from the previous part, it was 1,200 for a $10, and then the last 200 requires the five dollar and we'll have a bit left over very useful stuff right here once again links in the description okay then what does all this actually mean so i've got uh, some numbers here just copied down from the get those calculators and i'll show you uh... the use of this so right here is buying resources with gems and right here is buying time with gems so uh... let's just look at these top ten right here well actually it's only these top three so if you buy one thousand it costs five gems. We saw that, right? Okay, so what if you're going to buy 2,000? Does the gem cost double? You're doubling the number of resources. No, actually, it doesn't go from 5 to 10, it goes from 5 to 7. If you add another 1,000 on top, tripling from the initial, it's not triple the cost, 15, it's just adding another 2,000, or 2 gems right here, for the extra 1,000. As you see, this continues all the way down, and I pulled up some bigger numbers down here. Now, let's see what this actually means when you look at these numbers. So this right here is just a graph of these numbers, and uh, this is really useful to see uh, because uh, you can tell what's more effective to do. So these blue dots are just these data points on here. I didn't graph the last ones because they'd be way too big and sort of throw the scale off. But uh, this black line right here is a trend line showing the, the, the connection between these points. So this is just an equation that would match them. And you can tell from this r squared value is equal to 0.9985. That means that uh, I can actually say that this line fits these dots 99% of a, the way. Not 100. If it was 100, it'd match all these dots perfectly. And you see there's little differences in some of these cases, but it's pretty close. So 99% of the way there. Okay, then. So what does this line actually matter? So the important part of this line is actually the slope of this line. So when we're down here at the end, you'll notice the slope is, the slope is pretty steep. Let me actually make this larger so we can see that a little bit better. There we go. So you see down here, this slope is pretty steep right here. If you get out here, it's a little flatter, and out here it's just getting flatter and flatter. It's going pretty, it's getting flatter very slowly though, but it is getting flatter. You can see from it's curving down. Okay then, so what does the slope actually matter? Well that means if you're down here, and you're buying, this is resources, so if you buy one extra resource, how much does that cost you? The slope tells you how much that one extra will cost you. A steep slope means it will cost you more, because it's going up faster because it's a steep line. Out here, where the slope is not as steep, as steep, if you buy one extra resource, it won't cost as much because the slope is not as much compared to down here. Basically, it's much cheaper to buy extra, if you're going to buy 10,000 resources, and you're going to say, well, I also need, actually need another 10,000. Should you buy them at once, or independently? Well, this means if you buy them at once, so you're out here rather than right here, you're buying it cheaper on a per unit basis. Okay, let's go back to that normal zoom. Let's go look at the time stuff now. Oops. Okay. So, same thing for time, but let's just walk through it once again. So, if you buy one hour of time, it costs you 20 gems. Now, if you double that by two hours of time, it doesn't cost you 40 gems, it only costs you 30. 
Now we add another hour on top of that, triple the initial. It doesn't cost you 60 gems, it only costs you 40. So as you can see here, once again, you're getting, another, you're getting discounts for the more that you get. And once again, here it is in the visual form of the graph, where it's a very similar slope, where it's steep down here and flatter out here. Now, what does all this mean? Basically, it means, so say you want to buy 10,000 resources right here. So should we buy this in one big bunch, which will cost us 25 gems, or should we buy 10 of these 1,000s? So 10 of these 1,000s will take this 5, multiply it by 10, because we're buying it 10 times, that costs 50. So should we pay 50 for 10 of these, worth 10,000 resources, or one 10,000 for 25? Well, look at the difference between 25 and 50. We would get for half off if we bought them all together rather than in 10 separate purchases. So that's the value right here of buying it in bulk rather than independently. How is this useful? Well, if you're buying 10,000 gold to upgrade 10 walls, you can either buy each wall independently or you can buy 10,000 as a big chunk. Okay, so that's going to wrap this up, guys. I think it's uh, pretty useful stuff to know if you're ever going to be buying uh, resources or time. As for time, it's sort of hard. I mean, you can't buy, like, 10,000 hours and then slowly use them up. You're just buying, you're spending the resources once, right? Well, it does tell you, though, if you're, you'd be much better off buying a, a longer upgrade that's going to cost 40, 144 hours than 72 hours, or 272 hours, which is half of uh, 144. Okay then, guys, uh, like I said, it's going to wrap this up. Uh, this was just requested by a couple of people in the previous gems video, basically how to use gems most effectively. So that's what this video hopefully answered for you. All your gem questions right there. Uh, let me know if you have any other topics you want me to cover. I have no problem uh, if I see a good topic suggested in the comments, just going out and producing a video that night. Uh, as always, guys, give me some feedback on this. I always like to hear what you guys think. And uh, beyond that, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.